All right, guys, so we have our list criteria, right? Now it's time to download the actual list. What I have before you is Property Radar. Property Radar is simply a real estate list pooling platform. They pull all the data from the county. There's a ton of list pooling platforms out there. You may have heard of PropStream, Batch Leads. It's, it's along those lines. But Property Radar is one of the best that I've used. I've used multiple, and they actually provide accurate data and all the data points that we need. Um, you may have thought of like PropStream, for instance, doesn't provide the subdivision data on the spreadsheet. We need that. So Property Radar provides everything uh, we need, and this is what we use. Now, there is a fee, just like the other ones. There is a fee. I believe if you sign up uh, monthly, it's 120 bucks a month. Uh, but if you do the annual bill billing, it's it's like 99 or 100 bucks a month. Uh, so that's just the cost to get actual good good data. So go ahead and uh, sign up. You'll see a link below, guys. Click on that link, uh, and you can go ahead and create your profile and get started right away with Property Radar. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll log in, and we'll get started with creating that list. Okay, so here's kind of the dashboard or the landing page here once you log in. Um, we don't need any of this stuff. You can see there's a bunch of you know tricks and gadgets that you can type in here and do some uh, analysis, but we don't need any of that. We just need to download our list. So we're going to go through that. If you go up here and you click on my list, this is kind of where all your lists will be. And this is kind of a, a test profile for me uh, that I'm using. I uh, also forgot to mention that that, that uh, monthly 120 bucks or however you build it, when you sign up, you get 10,000 leads a month for that price. And that is plenty. You won't be sending out 10,000 letters a month. Uh, so 10,000 leads is what you get. Uh, that's what you're paying for. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to click over here to a new list and we're going to select dynamic list. And once we do that right here, we're going to enter our zip code that we chose 28215. We're going to select that. And you see it's going to populate once once you start adding stuff to the, the criteria, uh, it's going to pop up up here. It's going to pop up up here, and then this number is also going to populate. The more stuff you add, the, um, the, the lower this number will drop. So we entered our zip code, and we can see it there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to select property, and we're going to select property type. We're then going to select single family, and we're going to add that to our criteria. We're simply one by one adding uh, to our criteria. We're going to go back to property right here. And then we're going to do beds. And we're going to do a minimum of one. And we're going to add that to the criteria. The reason we do that is because uh, sometimes uh, uh, lots will fall under that single family designation. So if you just do sing single family and don't put minimum of one beds, then you'll get some vacant lots in there too. And we don't we don't want that. All right, so we got that, and then we'll go back to property, and we'll do uh, the year built. We want max 1980, all right? We'll do that, add that to the criteria, and as you can see, it's just going to pop up up here, and this number is going to drop. Every property that fits what's in here is going to be over here. It's going to populate over here. All right, now we're going back to the search. We're going to click on search button. And we are going to go down to the property tax. We're going to click on that. We're going to do assess value. And we're going to do the maximum of $250,000. All right, we're going to add that to the criteria. Max 250. We're simply adding one by one. Now we're down to 2131. Let me let that load up. It does take a little while when it when it's um, finding those properties. So we're going to go back to search. Property tax. The last thing we're going to do is the transfer. We're going to click on that and then most recent change of ownership. We're going to do the purchase date. We're going to click this little calendar right here. And then we're going to do before. We're going to hover over before. And then come over here and select the down arrow. And we're going to go back one as far as the years. We're going to select back one. 
and then we're going to select 2014. That's 10 years prior, right? So right now, today is June. We're in June. It's just going to populate pretty much to the current day, but we're changing the year. And then we're going to select OK. And then you can select the current date that it's already on. And there you go. So it'll be before up to June 21st, which is today. This is when I'm recording. And then 2014, right? So we're going to add that to our criteria. And let's see what number it gives us. All right, so we're at 1491. So guys, we always want to shoot for a minimum of 1500 uh, letters for our campaign. Uh, it changes all the time as far as like the conversions, but 1500 is a great minimum campaign that you want to shoot for. Uh, you should be, if you price it correctly, you should be able to get at least one deal with 15. So if you come out and you, you've entered all these things, um, and it's at, let's say a thousand, then you could just make some adjustments, right? Maybe you come over here to assess value. You click on that and you get rid of this one and you bump it up to 300,000. Let's do that. Let's, let's see. So I get rid of that and I do max 300,000 and we update the criteria. Let's see how many bump, how many it bumps up here. All right, so it just added a, a ton, right? Uh, so the, the goal is to at least get to 1500. I wanted to make that note there. I'm gonna go back to this and I'm gonna go back and um, let me see, let me wait till it starts loading because I don't wanna download a list with 2800 because it's gonna go against my 10,000 that I have per month. So I'm just gonna exit out of that and I'm actually gonna reduce this to 200 just because this is an example. So update the criteria. We're going to let that load. Let's see. All right. So for my example, that's perfect. That's all I want. 445 just for my example so I don't get charged too much. I'm going to let that load up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cl click this button because we have all our criteria. We have built before 1990 at least one bed, a single family, the zip code, assess below, and then last market sale date or purchase date up to uh, 2014. So select make list. And we, you can just name your list. I use I usually do like the county and then the zip code. And then maybe if you wanted to do like built before 1990, sold before uh, 2014 and assessed below 250. That can be a way that you, you keep up with your list if you like to do that. But you can just... Um, Neither one of these need to be selected, so I always unselect those. And now I'm just going to put test five to create my list. Then we select create. We're going to let that do its thing. And it's going to make our list for us. All 445 of those properties are going to populate right here. Uh, and this is going to be kind of our, our list that we're going to go after. That's the first step. This is the first phase. So I'll let that go ahead and load up. And then after it does, you should be able to see all this, the type, the address, see, there it is, right there. So there's the address of the properties, the owners, everything. We don't do any of this. They have skip tracing and email options that you could, but we don't do any of that. This is just what we need right here. So once we get to this point, we're going to go up here to the actions button. We're going to click that. And we are going to go down to export to a file. All right. Because now we're going to export this data into a beautiful spreadsheet where we're going to start working on our list. Now, you're only going to need to do this one time when I'm about to go over. It's the field sets. What these fields right here, this is what comes with the data already. But there's extra fields that we need in our data set in order to price and do our method. So what we're going to have to do is create a field set. Remember, it's, this is the first time and only time you're going to have to do that. Because once you do, you can just save that field set, right? And then you can just come in and click on, you know, the field set that you save. But let's go ahead and do this this one time. So we're going to click over, uh, click on create new field set. And what you'll see is on the right hand side, this is what comes with the data. This is all that comes. All these things are things that we can select and add to the data that we need, right? Up to 50. 
and we won't need that many. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and you do this with me. I'm going to go through and I'm going to select all the things that we actually need. Right now I'm uh, on a MacBook and I'm holding down the command button. I want to select multiple at one time. So I'm just going to do that. We need the state. We need zip code. We need county. We need assessor's parcel number. We need subdivision. Let's see. We need the lot acreage. We need the zoning. We need the year built. And you can see all the data points they provide. We just don't need all of it. We need the primary contact, full name, primary contact, first name, primary contact, last name, those three. We continue to scroll. We need the mailing address. We need mailing city, mailing state, mailing zip code. We need the assessed value. Let's see, none of that. We don't need any of the value or equity, none of the purchase, none of the first mortgage. You can see how the data, it's a ton of data that you could get, but we simply just don't need. It's gonna just muddy up the actual spreadsheet. We don't need any foreclosure data. We don't need any listing data. And I believe that is it. Let me double check. Property has on liens. No, no, no. Listing. Yeah, that is it. Foreclosure. Second mortgage. First mortgage. Purchase date. Uh, none of that. But it's so cool to see all the data points that we have access to. Um, tax rate. Nope, that's it. Okay, so now that we have all of them selected, you're simply just going to click. I'm still holding down my connect, command button. Click and drag all those over here. And you should end up with 29. Right? Those are all the data points we need. 29. After, the, after we do that, we're going to save it. And we're going to name it. You could just name this field set. This is what you're going to click on so you don't have to do this anymore. You're just going to name it and then save it. Create. A new field set was created. Great. So now that field set that we just created is called test five and it's already populated here. You can even set it set to default for future exports. You can check that and now you don't even have to worry about it. Once this pops up, you just click continue and you move forward. So we have that done. We're going to select continue. And this is kind of the final uh, payment page, if you will. It's going to tell you how many exports uh, you got 10,000 a month. And this is how many you have uh, or how many you'll have left over after you do this export. We don't need the phone. We don't need email. You don't need that, that. Um, and then you just have to agree to both and select purchase. And now it's going to create that beautiful spreadsheet that we're going to need. Um, we're going to do the CSV file is what we're going to do. And then we're simply going to download that. And if you have um, if you have a Mac and you don't have like Excel, you will have to convert it over to Excel. Make sure you have Microsoft Excel. You're going to need that. However you need to get it over there uh, is how you got to do it. Click download. And it's going to download. And once it downloads, that's all, guys. That's all you have to actually create your list. Um, in the next chapter, we're going to prep that list. That list that just spit out to us that we were able to download, beautiful spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet. We're going to prep it and get it ready for pricing. I'll see you guys there.